Hey ladies and gentlemen, Virgil Warrior here with Go Higher Mindset Marketing. I hope you guys are having a super awesome Tuesday. Well, if you look at my topic, it's about financial hangover for the holiday. Uh, if you think about it, ladies and gentlemen, so here I am. So if you think about it for the holiday, uh, you find that December is one of the months that people spend so much money, right? A lot of money. You know, you got to get the gift and all that great stuff, right? So if you think about December being one of the most expensive months, right? Because not only are you spending money on the gifts, but you also are spending money because it's colder, right? So your electricity bills are going up because you have the heating system. And then some people usually maybe walk to work or maybe ride their bike to work. So within the month of, you know, the winter months, you find that, you know, you don't want to do that or it's not very um, comfortable to do that, right? So you find a lot of people are just spending more money in the month of December, if you think about it, okay? So if you think about spending, okay, you know, we go to the store and then we look at the gifts and then we, we grab maybe a game system and then... We grab maybe some dolls for the kids or the grandkids, and then we maybe some um, some other toys. Maybe um, I don't know. My girls used to love, love the Barbie sets or whatever. I don't know if they sell that stuff anymore. But whatever you are picking up in our store, okay. Don't forget the teddy bears. Then you got the teddy bears, right? And you're grabbing all this stuff in in the store, right? And then when you go up to the cashier. What do you pull out? Most people pull out like a credit card, right? A credit card. And then not realizing that most of the credit cards has a high interest rate, right? Uh, based on what credit card is have a high interest rate. So not only are you paying for that gift over and over again, but you're also putting yourself in a financial bind. Think about it, financial bind. So if you, uh, according to... Let me see here. I'm looking at my notes here. According to America Research Group, okay, in 2017, people, American is about, is, average American, uh, they estimate will be spending about $983 on gift. Okay. But here's, the, here, here's another um, research that they came up on. 209, uh, the average American spend probably about maybe $417. That's a big gap, right? 19983 compared to 417 That's a big gap, right? If you think about that. So when you think about spending for the holiday, you know, we want to give the gifts and we want to just make uh, everyone happy. But just consider, just think about it for a minute there. Think about it for a minute there. Okay. Is it worth you spending that money? Say, for instance, you pick up a gift for $100. Is it worth you putting that gift on a credit card? And then come uh, January, you are stressing, right? You are stressing uh, in order to pay that bill. Think about it. Is it worth that? Just, I mean, just think about it. I mean... Just be be very mindful of what you're picking up, you're spending. Yeah, you might not have to pay for it right now. And then somebody said, well, I can go ahead and get the store credit. That's great. They have a lot of benefits in the store credit. But there's also a high interest with that as well. So think about that. Okay. So not only do you want to probably, you know, maybe pick up, uh, have the cash on hand or, you know, uh, think about it. Here's another thing. If we think about spending, I don't know why we think that Christmas is one. We, it's like it comes come on us unexpectedly. Not realizing that over uh, 1,500 years ago, uh, they've been celebrating uh, Christmas, December 25th. So then it's not an on, uh, unexpected expense, right? If you... Um, buying gifts right so it's something that maybe we need to think about and plan better right so maybe i remember back in the day they had christmas funds that you could just put the money in a christmas fund so maybe you know for next year that might not help you this year but next year maybe you might want to consider putting that aside i know i've got family members that 
uh, throughout the year, they're shopping for Christmas. Throughout the year, they're shopping. So they're so by the time December comes, they got so many gifts to give away, right? So you might want to think about that as well. And let me see what else I have here so I don't miss anything. So then also you have to think about it. We want to give, want to be giving from the heart. So wouldn't it be a better way to be more creative in our giving? Like, for instance, you might want to, be, instead of giving a gift, maybe spend more time with that particular person, right? Instead of giving a gift, instead of buying a gift, maybe you can make a gift, you know, use your creativity and, and make a gift, right? So that is some of the stuff that you can do. I mean, you don't want to be one of those ones that comes December, not December, January, I should say, January, right? And you're looking at all the expenses that you have spent on December, I mean, you think about it. Is it worth you uh, spending all that money, money that maybe you don't have, or money just ju- you spending it just to try to impress somebody? You know, the person that you should be impressing is yourself, right? And then the next person you're supposed to be trying to impress is God, right? So won't we just, you know, just realize what you're doing. Whenever you take out that credit card, just realizing unless you have the money 20% or 80% to pay for it, at the end of the month when the bill comes or pay it off, okay? But if you have to be the one that have to pay a monthly, you know, the small fee on that credit card, you might want to be, you know, just consider it. Think about it. But then at the end of the day, you know, you know, it's okay to go full spirit in Christmas, right? But, you know, you don't want to be so generous that at the end of the um, in the new year, you have all this stress on you. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to have all this stress on you. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, it's your decision, right? So whether or not you go and take out those credit cards and you spend, 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 and you had fun doing that, just make sure when the bill comes, you have just as much fun uh, paying off that bill, okay? So let me leave you with this, Romans uh, 13, 18. It says, owe nothing to anyone except love for one another. And then there's also Proverbs 22, 7. It talks about the rich rules over the poor and the borrower becomes the lender's slave. Okay, that was Proverbs 22, 7. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Bird Del Warrior. I just wanted you to be more mindful of when you shopping for the holiday, whether or not you're picking out that, uh, giving that that uh, credit card using the credit card just be more mindful of using your credit card that's all i'm saying so with this ladies and gentlemen this is virgil warrior we go higher mindset marketing and you can also find me on go higher warriors i hope you guys having a super awesome day and i should talk to you guys tomorrow take care